it's a great win. Um, we just kind of, obviously the gas tank was on E coming down the stretch. We just looked sluggish. We played 13 games thus far. I don't know if there's a team that played more games than us in the country. So our guys were tired. Um, you know, we had some self-inflicted wounds. And credit Magnese, they never quit. They, they, they continued to fight. They made some shots and they got them back in the ball game. And we were fortunate to make some uh, buckets down the stretch and get some stops and win the game. Uh, Coach, this team was up by 19 in the second half, and McNeese was able to close the gap. What were you saying to this team after you saw this game get close? Just keep fighting. You know, we we still inexperienced, and uh, you know we did some things to allow them to get back in the game. We gave them on defense. They hit three trade balls in a row, <clears throat> so we well, found three times three is nine, and now you got yourself a ball game again. So they're really good, uh, and they'll be uh, one of the top. Echelon teams in the league, but I was just fortunate we got to win before the break. Uh, Brandon Goldsmith, one of the top scorers today, uh, he reached a career high. He was actually nearing that at the half. Uh, talk about his performance today. I was proud of him because you know he brought energy and effort. Uh, he's not a natural scorer. He's an energy guy who has to bring it, and you know he got some offensive rebounds, got some layups, and got some easy buckets, and he was able to finish at the rim. So I'm proud of. Him. A couple other players with uh, <coughs> double figure scoring. You had uh, Rashawn Davis with a double double. Pablo Rivas also with um, over 10 points today. Uh, what you see from them? Is this really been the bigs that have been leading the way? Yeah, Pablo was really good. He had 17 and nine. Um, and Big Sean, you know, he's, he's been pretty consistent as of late. Um, you know, we still got to get the energy, and we still can't give up those offensive rebounds. We gave up uh, 18 offensive rebounds. That's way too many. So we got to do better in that category. And then you also had um, good play from the guards. Jordan Perkins really uh, coming along is able to dish out. Um, strong number of assists today. What you see from him? No, he was good. You know, he's a freshman. You know, I, I've been spoiled at the point guard position. I had some really good ones, particularly that young man, Poopy Chapman, who just walked out. So he kind of set the standard. So I'm never going to compromise the standard. I'm just going to make those guys uh, ascend to the level. And he he's, he's, he did pretty good. Um, he had eight and eight, only turned the basketball over one time. So. I'm proud of him. Um, you know, he played a total of 37 minutes. Had some defensive breakdowns, so we definitely have to be better in that category. Coach, you mentioned uh, Booby and Jeremy. Did they have an opportunity to uh, talk to this uh, team when this game was done? They did because they're, they're kind of like ghosts. You know, they see them on the wall, but you never see them in the physical form. And, you know, they had an opportunity to come in and, you know, speak to the guys. And now the guys understand that the same message I'm trying to, to convey to them, you know, I had to convey to those kids as, as well. And, you know, when you're, young, when you're younger, you're kind of immature, and you don't appreciate the message as much. But, you know, Jeremy had some tragic incidents that happened, and the real world has became a definitely reality to him. So he's definitely appreciative of, of you know, North Carolina Central overall and the totality of his experience. North Carolina Central, again, <clears throat> over the last weekend, long travel, and now you got the chance to rest for a yeah. couple of weeks. Um, how much are you looking forward to just getting some downtime and what are you hoping to accomplish before heading back on the court to face St. Andrews? Well, what we have to do now is just, it's, it's crazy, is uh, get better. So we got to come in tomorrow and go two times tomorrow and just get ourselves better because we got one more game and then it's conference and, and the season starts and a, a new beginning and we just got to make ourselves better so we got to be committed to the sacrifice of making ourselves better and not worry about um, you know Santa Claus and Rudolph and, and all of those guys. Um, I, I think it was a good team win. Um, we did a fold in the crunch time so it's a pretty good win. Uh, North Carolina Central able to come out here had a strong start in the first half. You had a big start had about 15 points in the first half. What was it like out there for you? Um, I just did my everyday routine. Um, I haven't been playing real good, but I've been basically just focusing on defense. So I knew, you know, offense will come around, you know, eventually. So I'm just, like Coach says, just focusing on defense. I'm the team all that. Talking about uh, defense, Eagles were able to close out down the stretch. Talk about those closing moments after playing what was a tight game on Monday. Um, I feel like, you know, it, it's all in how we play together. Um, once you play together and get the communication right, you know, there's there's nothing. We have, we have all the pieces, so you know, there's. I feel like it is not a team that um, we can't stop. You know, when it comes down to that that clutch crunch time, so as long as we communicate and you know, listen with our eyes, is what coach says. You know, then we, then we should be good. 
Offensively, North Carolina Central was up by about 19 at one point in the second half. What was it like out there offensively as a unit? Um, offensively as a unit, um, I think we just we ran what was being called, um, saw the opening drives, you know, played different teams differently, um, run different things offensively um, differently. So um, we just took whatever the defense gave us and we just capitalized off that. Your teammate Jordan Perkins, and he got his third start today. Uh, freshman was able to dish out eight assists. What's it like playing with him? Uh, he is it, pretty good. He plays with a lot of energy, you know, and as a teammate, especially out there on the court, um, actually on and off the court, you want someone that has a lot of energy and someone you just want to be around. So he's definitely a good, good person. And, you know, he's a freshman, so to have that energy as a freshman and, you know, be capable of being, making the right plays, giving assists out, you know, not only passing, but knowing when to score, you know, is, is definitely a key part. And then Rashawn Davis got a double-double today. Pablo Rivas also close to a double-double. Uh, talk about the post players and their performance. Uh, our post players, I mean, for a while, like Coach said, they've been carrying the guards, really. So that's what um, I expected out of them. I, I expect out of them any, any given night. Um, Rashawn, uh, Pablo, Z, or Dom. You know, any given night, one of those four, if not all of them, you know, they're going to come out with, you know, that energy, that – a definitely a bigger plus than a minus. North Carolina Central's been playing a lot of games, been on the road a lot, but now you finally get a chance to rest. How much are you looking forward to that? Uh, I'm looking forward to it a lot, but I already know like it's not going to be that much resting. We, we still have to get better with a lot of things, especially on defense. Um, you know, so getting better is 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 key. It's more important than you know that with the rest. We can get the rest whenever we get the, the little break off. This has been an exclusive presentation of the NCCU Sports Network.